forward. It's a very, very um, indigenous collective model. It's not really just the program. It's everybody in Anishinaabe Health. And I think it's like our key mission here is to deal with like the, the client on, in a multidisciplinary and very holistic manner. So we're, we're that point of access where now we've gotten the client into um, whether it's an initial registration or, you know, then counseling. bridging them over to counseling, bridging them over to housing, and then just that connection piece. I feel like that's a big part of what the mobile unit does. It's, it's that connection between, you know, getting them and going to where they are and then bringing them back kind of into our organization and working with the entire team. We began um, last, I go near January, February, um, to um, to meet the needs of our populations that are living rough, transient, uh, indigenous populations that are underhoused and underserved, and have uh, access barriers to all of their to healthcare and to other services as well, like mental health, housing, and, and the pandemic has has increased. I think you think probably in terms of their isolation. Oh, definitely. And they're yeah. you know, disconnecting. Yeah. Um, so we're there. You know, we're there. We go wherever where they are, and um, our clients are central to our care. So they're part of our community. We just we, we meet them where they where they are, and we we, we want to have no barriers. So we have a huge population that are that are coming because a we don't you know you just come to the RV you get tested. We set up at uh, some of the in some of the parks and things to do. Um, the COVID vaccinations and primary care, and you just come to us. There's, and so um, that that has been really significant in terms of breaking down barriers. Yeah, I agree completely. Um, we've we've seen a lot of clients come and they feel that they uh, they don't need to share uh, information that they don't want to. Uh, we were able to provide them that care and get them the testing done without them having to, for example, give their OHEC or give uh, personal information that they're not comfortable providing. Going in their environment, we're honoring them, and we're and, and you know we're making it as, as as simple as possible and as seamless for them. But it's the conversations like you should see the you know, 15 minute after wait. We have people that want to stay there for half an hour because <laughs> <laughs> you know they're just and you know we're all they're all we're all enjoying just that that social distancing with having these relationships with which everybody needs and um, we have a beautiful um, uh, description of our like painting of our pagan and our, our ceremonial but just even seeing that people are in their community like we didn't have to go find anybody it's like they would just they'd see the van and now they see the RV hey it's an Anishinaabe health but we've done a lot of partnerships with our indigenous organizations and non-indigenous organizations that are serving hard to reach populations and so that's really that's really they've been just embracing us like through this pandemic without everybody and all of the staff and our executive director and, and management everyone like without all of us working together then it wouldn't have happened so everybody just worked really hard to like to 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 streamline it, work it out, and we kept everyone kept putting in new ideas and making adjustments. So it's really like it's the whole everyone. Everyone's getting the award.